What's going on everybody? Zeke here back with another episode and today we're going to be talking about a couple different case variation or case options for when you want to transport either your drone or your camera but you don't have a camera specific or a drone specific bag. So what we're going to show you today is two different options. One to carry your drone, a few batteries in your remote, another one would be for your camera and a few accessories if you hack it the right way and how to take those out into the field, keep everything protected, but still be versatile and uh, nimble enough to get out there and create. So let me show you what it looks like right now. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a couple different options here from GoScope for the uh, Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom. One of the things that I'm not showing here is the actual case for the remote. Since I use the smart controller, they don't have a case for that. So I keep my remote separately, but we're able to still talk about the cases themselves. Um, we'll get to the Sony case here in a minute, but first let's dive in and look at the case for the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom. So you, in the case, you come with the case for that also a case for both of the batteries and this is my entire setup like i said i don't have the case for um, a smart controller but as we unzip the case here you'll see that it's finely molded and we have both of our additional batteries so in this simple yet versatile protective case i can take my my drone plus two extra batteries so three batteries all together that wraps up and encapsulates the entire system the cases themselves are very durable and protective and I actually love using just the battery cases themselves sometimes if I just need to bring an extra battery along with me. As you can see here, the case is molded and it fits the drone perfectly. Um, even though I have a, a different gimbal cover on there, not just standard gimbal cover, everything fits in nice and neat. So when you drop in the, the drone in here, you'll see that the molding along the sides fits everything nice and neat, keeping the drone from sliding around once you zip up the entire case. Nothing shakes in there, which is I'm a big fan of. So when you look at just that set right there, there's almost no footprint. And if we turn it kind of top down, you'll see that we have minimal space for keeping up that entire system works, what's, what works really well. So let's look how the system works within your everyday backpack, not necessarily a drone backpack or a camera bag, but in this case, an Air SF bag. I'll link the video for my first impressions of this bag right above. But as you can see in a bag like this, it's a nice duffel bag and it opens up. I got a couple different cases, one for my sunglasses, one for my regular glasses, also a small little case for my GoPro. But when I take the cases from GoScope that holds my drone plus two additional batteries and my remote, you can see that how easily everything can kind of fit in like a standard backpack. In this case, I have this duffel bag, but I'm able to put my drone, the remote, two batteries, all my glasses, my GoPro, and everything fits nice and neat. And this is just a standard backpack that, you know, would fit just like most people carry. It's just my particular setup. But as you can see here, as we get on location, you could open up your bag, pull out your batteries, pull out the drone, pull out the remote, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so wrapping up here, we have the case for the Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom, along with two additional batteries. And in this case, you would have a case for the remote, but that is my setup. Okay, now on to the Alpha case. So this particular case can hold either the A7 or an A9. I have my A7 III in this particular case. It is made of the same type of ballistic water resistant nylon, even has a couple belt loops that I personally have never used, but it also comes with a shoulder strap um, that I took off just for the purposes of this video, but it does come with a really great strap that hooks on to either side. So you could, in theory, just walk around with just this, cam this case, uh, keeping your camera in there. So let's go ahead and get it unzipped and I'll show you what I'm packing inside the case itself. Right here we have my A7 III on a 16 to 35, but as you can see, there is a little additional room in there and I'm able to keep a couple of additional accessories. The case, just like the Mavic 2 case, is going to be well formed and fitted to hold the case itself. It also holds a up to a 24 by 70 lens. So let's go ahead and swap out my 16 to 35 and put in the 24 by 70. This is the 24 by 70 G Master right next to the 16 by 35. So you'll see here that is a perfect fit. There's no additional room and it just zips right up to hold just the case. But when I have the uh, 16 to 35, I'm able to sneak in a few additional accessories. But we can still get the hand strap in there. Zips it right up, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, little pro tip here. 
I always label my lenses. Makes it really easy when grabbing them out there. So we swap them out here so we can see there. We both have the 24 to 70 and the 16 to 35. So with that 16 to 35, um, I'm also able to keep a filter on there so I can really just have the ultimate setup and keep things super light and versatile. So I can throw on my Polar Pro Defender cap that fits in there. And again, I have a little bit of extra room in there so I can get two additional batteries that I have in here with from a Think Tank, uh, Think Tank battery case. Those fit right in. We also can still put in our little hand strap. Everything fits in there nice and neat, nice and snug. We'll get it zipped up and you can see just how easily and compact that setup is and everything is nice and protected in a little case that is also water resistance. So big fan there. While I'm not out there trying to jump in puddles, you know, a little water might splash in you. Nice to know that everything is going to be protected in that case. Okay, so let's go to see how this would look if we had it in the backpack as well. So pulling out that same Air SF duffel, same type of setup. And as you can see, a case like this is just gonna ergonomically, it's gonna fit really nice and just kind of take up the base of the bag there and I can throw everything in, get it zipped up. I'm ready to rock and roll. I have my camera, two additional batteries. I got a filter on there so I can get on wherever I'm going pull out the case, everything's been nice and protected for the trip and the travel, and I'm ready to rock and roll. I can easily unzip it, and within a few seconds of taking the case out, my camera is effectively ready to go, and I can start snapping away and getting the photos that I'm looking to take. Alright guys, so we're wrapping up. So again, I want to give a special shout out and a thanks to the team over at GoScope for sending both of these cases out here. Uh, huge big fan of these. Do I use them all the time? No. Is that their purpose? No, I think that they are really versatile and they're very specific for the unique needs that you're gonna be going. Lately for me, like as I've been saying, it has been very run and gun. It has been um, not taking a specific case with me, but just taking my general EDC backpack and being able to use these cases specifically Throw my, throw my stuff in there, know that everything's protected, but it's also easily accessible, which is two really big things for me. Keep it in safe, but be able to get to use, uh, get to it quickly. Um, so really awesome. Thank you so much to the team over at GoSco for sending these over. Love them. I'll have everything linked down below. Hope everybody enjoyed the video and just showing out these cases and how, they're, uh, how I use them in my kind of flow. If you have any questions, Link me down, you know, send me some DMs down below, some comments. I'll do what I can to get back to you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace, everybody. Bye.